White Lights is a, you know, a, a sort of started off as a, a blues band, sort of focusing on Chicago blues and Delta blues and things like that. And uh, but you know, we've got a, also a big rock influence, and that's the main thing is the, is the sound. And I think the the approach to what we're doing is a lot different as well. It got put together in a hurry because there was actually yeah. uh, there was a gig, it was a, a Park Acoustics gig booked for the the other band that had dissolved. Um, and they, you know, they didn't want to give it up, so they got myself and um, Quibus to cook Jr. from Blackhead Bones to fill in. Um, yeah. So we started, obviously, then you're doing your, your sort of uh, a whole bunch of your, your normal blues covers. But one of the challenges was, they said, you know, they've got these original riffs, which had gained traction, and would I just change the vocals, uh, rewrite the lyrics and things like that? We started doing that, and then we played that circuit for, you know, played that set for a long time, and as time progressed, we wrote more originals, and now we're we're, we're we're focusing more on our originals. I think from a from a guitarist perspective, it's a great platform for expression and uh, improvisation and mm. freedom, um, and that is kind of still very popular worldwide. And I yeah. think it will never really die out, um, and it's a very true form of music, mm. and uh, you don't actually need a lot, you know, to kind of get it going. Three chords and scale of six notes and a couple of lyrics. Blues is, is, is a, you know, was the foundation on which, you know, a lot of modern music, especially rock and roll, was uh, based on, so it's always going to have a place in music. You know, 2015, blues in 2015, there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, yeah. You know, given the scale of how music has progressed since then, you can integrate a lot of things um, in modern music into blues now and still make it completely relevant. And, uh, I think now more than ever, <laughs> With people complaining about everything, the best way to complain about things is sing a blues song. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, and the cool thing is it doesn't always have to be sad. I think there's a connotation that blues is a you know, very sad, or you should be heartbroken, but not the case. With Bright Lights it goes a lot with the feel and the space you give the songs. It's a lot more about the experience of it, you know. And, and, uh, more, yeah, more, more gigs as well. Going with it, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot more accessible music, so we, 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 we move with that intention, we make a big point of having a good time, um, but not compromising on, on the integrity of the music, you know, we don't just sit around and have fun, you know, we work hard on what we do, but it's, it's more about the process, and it's, it's also about seeing, you know, where is this band going, you know, we, we, we're sort of letting it lead us up. Okay, uh, yeah. writing more and more um, uh, original material, mm -hmm. and uh, working towards a full length album. It's, uh, uh, six tracks of the full length album. The EP. Exactly. Yeah. So it's basically half an uh, album. Okay. But we kind of. Uh, All original? Yeah. Yeah. yeah All originals. It's called Prelude because it's sort of a build up to uh, a, a full length album. But we know we've got we've got a lot of other ideas. Uh, we want to do things like have a, a four day, five day session in a interesting space and uh, live record there, six songs, and then we'll make a little thing out of that and release it. And We've got a lot of freedom in that, in that sense, and that's, you know, it's a lot of fun. We're having a yeah. fun with it, so we're so going to do things like that. We're going to, you know, sort of constantly release. There will be a main full-length album, but there's not, like, once that album's out, okay, we're going to yeah. sit and tour that album now for two years. No, no we're yeah. going to continue doing yeah. things. We were sort of uh, discussing concepts, like, how do we come up with a name, you know, what, should we approach an idea? Should we think about a common phrase? And uh, there was there, there's an old blues song called Bright Light, Bright Lights Good City, and it was okay. Jimmy Reed, yeah. Okay. And then it was revived recently by uh, Gary Clark Jr. Okay. We actually cover his version of that song. And, and um, I think we covered the song before we had the name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we were chatting about getting the name for the band, and, and uh, it was Ilamo who said, "You know, we should get a name." Light. Something that's cool, like Bright Lights Big City. Like something like that. Forward. And we said, well, yeah, yeah it was specifically, we should get a four word name or something. And we said, well, uh, that's fine. <laughs> there it is. You be quiet and still.